I'm Robert Boyle. I'm a senior lecturer in paediatric allergy here at Imperial College London. And I have the pleasure of uh, directing the short course in allergy, which forms part of the MSc in clinical paediatrics at Imperial. Well, in some ways, Imperial College is the home of allergy. Um, the, uh, one of the most definitive treatments for allergy is allergen immunotherapy, which was discovered here uh, in 1911 at St. Mary's Hospital. And um, since that time, Imperial has a, a, a very, played a very strong part in the development of allergy therapeutics um, and uh, still has a very prominent posi position. Both the um, St. Mary's and uh, Brompton uh, teams have uh, several professors of allergy. So we have a tremendous um, powerhouse of allergy here at Imperial, uh, and it's played a, it plays an important part in the clinical services here, in the teaching and the research. So um, we, have a, we have a full uh, postgraduate diploma and master's course in allergy at Imperial. And um, allergy is such an important part of children's health uh, in, uh, across the world now that we have a short course in allergy as part of this uh, MSc in clinical paediatrics. This course is designed for people with no or little ex experience of uh, allergy or certainly with little allergy, formal allergy training um, to give them a good solid grounding in as much as we can in two days um, uh, in both the theory and the practice of uh, allergy uh, as it pertains to children. Um, so it's a very practical course. You'll get um, a brief uh, summary of the theory, uh, case-based discussions, and practical sessions in allergy diagnostics, that's skin prick testing, in, uh, and in management of allergic disease. So we have practical sessions on applying skin, uh, creams to people with uh, eczema, um, uh, the use of appropriate inhalers, and uh, nasal sprays for people with uh, allergic airways disease. The Students we have on our masters and short courses uh, come from a very wide range of backgrounds. We do have plenty of uh, nurses and doctors um, training in paediatrics. We have people from uh, industry, uh, basic scientists, and people from other walks of um, medicine and healthcare uh, commonly do our short courses and, and master's courses. And I think uh, it's appropriate that the course is delivered by people with a, a wide uh, variety of perspectives on allergic disease and how it impacts on children. Um, so we have a multidisciplinary team um, uh, uh, very much involved in this particular short uh, course. Uh, of course, there are particular professionals who have most experience in applying um, treatments, and there are other professionals who have got most experience in understanding basic science or theory as it applies to allergy. We've thought very carefully about the design of this two-day course, and we've tried we, to, to really nicely match the theoretical learning and the practical experience. So you'll find that, uh, and, and to cover the full range of allergic diseases that affect children. Obviously, we, we, it's not all covered in a tremendous depth over a two-day period, but you will touch on all the areas of uh, allergy as it pertains to children. And, um, and get useful practical skills to, to kick you off in your clinical uh, practice. Um, for those who want to study uh, allergy in more detail, we have um, a, a second short course, uh, Advanced uh, Pediatric Allergy, uh, which happens in the summer. And that, again, is a two-day course, uh, which is designed for people who've got more experience um, and previous uh, training and exposure in, in allergy, often people formally training in allergy or working in, in the subspecialist areas. Um, and, uh, and of course, we have a full allergy master's program for those who want to focus their um, uh, postgraduate training solely on uh, allergic disease rather than uh, children. The trainers on our course are taken from uh, faculty across Imperial College London um, and outside of Imperial College London. So where we have gaps in, in expertise, we, we, we bring in experts from uh, around the country and sometimes internationally. Um, and, uh, but the majority of the faculty are drawn from our very experienced, very expert uh, teams uh, at Imperial College and its associated hospitals.